Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to demonstrate one of the methods used in digital designs. In this design we are implementing XADC, a fire filter, and a GSC. In this design, we will be trying to debug the communication between XADC and the FIR filter. Whenever data is available from the XADC, the filter must be ready to take the output of the XADC as an input. So we'll be trying to verify that communication between the blocks. The first thing to do is synthesize the design. After synthesis, you'll need to add a new source and select chip scope definition and connection file. Name anything you want and click next and finish. After that, a CDC file will be created. Double click that and a new window will appear. After the window appears, click next for a couple of times until you see this window. After that, select the number of trigger ports you will want to debug. After you select the number of trigger ports, move on to the next step. And from here you can select how many samples you, you want to capture. After setting that, go to the next tab and click modify connections. Here you can select which signals you would want to debug. First you need to connect the clock signal and then data signals. After that, return to project navigator, save. After you have modified all the connections in the CDC file, you will need to generate the programming file and then program the device. I have already generated the programming file and now I will program the device. After your device is programmed, double click analyze design we are using chip scope. A new window will appear. After that, Click this button that will search for the ZX chain. After that, the connected device will be shown. Click OK. Now, click File and then import the CDC file you previously created. All of the signals you selected in the connection file will be shown here. After this, click the trigger button. This will sample a window of data. Now, the signal I am interested in are the ND and RFD. ND stands for new data. That means whenever the ND signal is high, the XCDC would send a new data. The RFD signal represents ready for data. That is the filter signal. That means the filter is ready to accept the new data. Now if I zoom in, I can see the RFD signal is high. That means the filter is ready to accept the data. And whenever the RFD signal goes high, the new data signal is also going high. That means a new data is available on the DIN port of the FIR filter. That means our design is working fine. So if I zoom out and see the waveforms, Every time the RFD signal has gone high, the ND signal also has gone high. And after the ND signal has gone high, there is new data available on the D input of the FIR filter. So that means the handshaking between the two blocks are working very well in this design. So in this way, you can debug your design. We are generating a sinusoidal signal and feeding that into the XADC. The XADC provides the digital data to the FIR filter which then filters out the noise. After that, the digital data is sent to the DSC and then the DSC converts the digital signal into analog signal. The blue signal here is the unfiltered output and you can see the noise present in the signal. The yellow signal however is the filtered output. You can clearly see that the noise has been reduced in the output signal. So this is all for today, thank you.